Vitamin B12 is a nutrient that helps your body function in several ways. It plays an essential role in making red blood cells and cell metabolism in our nerve function and even in the production of our DNA. Vitamin B12 promotes the health of each of these important functions in our body. What happens if you don't get enough vitamin B12? Well, our body can store 1 to 2,000 times more vitamin B12 than we can eat in a day. So it would take possibly up to several years to notice a deficit in the form of any symptoms appearing. What are some of the signs and symptoms that could indicate a vitamin B12 deficiency? Well, they can include things like fatigue or weakness, heart palpitations, numbness or tingling in your, in your body, like maybe in the hands or feet, even depression or memory problems. And there are other symptoms as well. Something else to keep in mind is that vitamin B12 can interact with certain medications, so be sure to check with your doctor beforehand. Also, being a plant-based eater, or even if you're not, it's important to make sure your vitamin B12 levels are good. Well, what is the optimal level of taking vitamin B12? Well, let's listen to Dr. Michael Greger explain. Uh, for those with normal absorption capacity, meaning being under age 50, with an intact gastrointestinal system, and without diseases like pernicious anemia, we normally lose about one microgram of vitamin B12 a day. So that's how much we have to replace, on average, every day. So why is the recommended daily allowance 2.4 micrograms a day? Well, we only absorb about half of tiny doses of uh, B12 we get in our diet. So by eating 2.4, we can make sure we absorb the 1 microgram into our body to replace the 1 microgram we're losing every day. Taking larger doses, like in supplement form, an even smaller fraction is absorbed. So it might take a single oral dose of 10 micrograms to get that 1 microgram absorption. But just 10 a day failed to sufficiently lower homocysteine levels to under 10 even after a year, so maybe we need to absorb more than that 1.6 micrograms every day for optimal health. The current RDA is primarily based on a 1958 study that just looked at a small number of patients and only measured their blood counts. Absorbing one microgram a day may be enough to maintain blood cell production, but it may not be sufficient for all the other things that vitamin B12 does. Based on the data of several vitamin B12 status biomarker studies, maybe the recommended intake for most adults should be raised to more like Four, uh, which is what you see, for example, in Europe, uh, suggesting they want people to absorb at least two into their body every day. In that case, you'd need to take more than 50 a day. And now we have data suggesting getting seven a day may be even better. So if you wanted to absorb 3.5 micrograms, half of the intake that may optimize functional B12 status, how much would you need to take in a single daily dose? Uh, this chart isn't granular enough, but there's a formula you can use to calculate it. U stands for uptake, uh, absorption into your body, and D is your single daily dose. To absorb 3.5, you theoretically need to take a single daily dose of about uh, 225, which I round in my recommendations to 250 a day. Now that's just one of three methods you can use. A simpler and cheaper way is to take a single dose a week. If you want 3.5 in a day, uh, then you'd want to get at least 24.5 in you in a week. And to get that in a single dose, you'd have to theoretically uh, take about 2,600, which I rounded my recommendation to 2,500. Okay, but that's theoretical. Maybe you need even more. On the contrary, a new study showed you can get away with even less. Just 50 a day, not 250, or 2,000 once a week, not 2,500, reliably brought blood levels up, and more importantly, normalized methylmalonic acid, and homocysteine levels within a matter of months. So, based on this new study, I dropped my supplement recommendations down to that 50 a day or 2,000 a week.